Adam here, the Australian Aquarist. I'm up here at uh, Mini Water for maybe a night or two with Jane, just camping in the uh, the back of the van. And Mini Water is one of the um, the best collecting and snorkeling spots I've um, come across. Sort of the natural rocky platform that curls around and forms a barrier, much like a barrier reef. It creates this lagoon style area on the actual beach itself. There are lots of coral and other things to see. So. For the next two days I'm going to be enjoying this, I'll, um, there's no collecting game going on, I'm going to leave that alone, but um, I'll bring you underwater and I'll show you plenty of the sights here at Mini Water. The far right hand side we can see our rocky headland, and that's got some great tide pools with lots of interesting critters which get caught, at, caught in there at low tide. Uh, then there's the uh, the white surf area there where at low tide, and this is still relatively high tide, at low tide that almost completely gets blocked off by the uh, by the rocks. We've got a little bit of an island area over there. When we go across there I'll show you there's, in some of the tide pools there's some amazing Acropora colonies. Plenty of Micromusa Lord Howensis. and soft corals and zoanthids. But it's the western side of these islands where there's some little caves and some rock areas and whatnot and that's where I find plenty of tropical fish like to hide and grow up over the summer months here. So Jane's got the van set up down there already on the beach. I can see my dog George just going off into the water. So over here you can actually see this well being cut off by the, um, the rocky uh, escarpment itself or rocky platform and the rock pools that are formed behind the initial break and in these rock pools a whole different assortment of corals it's not quite fully low tide yet so I'm able to get my um, my camera and my mask underwater and show you a few things and it's one of the only places I've actually come across hard stony Acropora on the coast around Coffs Harbour just over here there's an Acropora solitariensis a nice big bright green colony In this run rock pool alone, we've got a whole variety of corals here. The coral just there is an Acropora. Below me right here we've got a turban area, nice yellow turban area. Across on this side, platygyra, a blue platygyra, and a brown soft coral called platyella.
So I haven't found any tropical fish yet. Um, there's no signs of butterfly fish. There's no signs of baby surgeon fish. Uh, usually I'll find things like um, juvenile orange shoulder tangs when they're in that yellow form. I'll find plenty of dulcimers tangs, convict surgeon fish, sometimes clown tangs. Um, but I haven't seen any, any tangs so far. Mostly, mostly temperate species, mostly juveniles of the, of the matto, juveniles of the stripies, and, um, and the sweeps. So I think maybe this season has been a cold winter and, uh, and quite a cool spring. So maybe this season's just a little bit too, too early yet. It's actually in the western sun, about 20 centimetres of water. And we usually think about uh, corala moths as being um, low light, low flow kind of animals. Where here it is on a high energy reef flat in western sun. been closed up and exposed by the low tide. This is the green, the green pally flower with the quite toxic slime and uh, it's actually pretty abundant in these rock pools. So a whole nother section of it over here, all exposed by the low tide. So in case you're wondering what that is, that's Micromusa Lord Howensis, high and dry. I'm back from my little trip to Mini Water. It was a great little break. You tell them I'm a bit, uh, bit more wild and woolly now. Um, unfortunately, the fish life wasn't quite what I was hoping for. I think maybe the uh, East Australian current hasn't quite met the coast yet, and those warmer waters haven't brought that fresh recruitment of juvenile fish. About a month's time or so is to get back up there and hopefully collect some juvenile orange shoulder tanks when that nice sort of yellow, bright yellow form, and I'll pop those into my reef tank. Hope you enjoyed checking out those uh, those subtropical corals we found around Coffs Harbour. Interestingly enough, uh, I found most of the turban areas actually on east-facing rock ledges. So that would mean they'd get protection from the western sun, but also get cleansed by those that swell on those waves and get the sand and debris off their uh, scroll shapes. Platagyra and the Goniastria were also mainly on the east-facing rock ledges, and they were usually vertically growing. So there might be something to take out of that for your home aquariums. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, 
and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.